Greetings viewers, it's Ed Bird and I'm back with a comparison video of the Nike Pegasus Turbo 2 and the Nike Zoomfly 3. So lots of you have requested a shootout video between these two high-end Nike running shoes. Lots of you are unsure as to which of these shoes presents the best value in terms of tempo work, intervals, long runs and also racing. So I'm going to approach this shootout from a slightly different perspective. Many of you are in the market for a specific shoe that you can add to perhaps a rotation that you already have that allows you to undertake some of that speed work, perhaps some faster paced interval training, but only really want to purchase one other shoe to utilize within that rotation. I intend to explore each of those different training areas and help you decide upon a possible purchase. So first up, how do these shoes handle easy and steady paced runs? In short, the Pegasus Turbo 2 is by far the more versatile of the two shoes. The Pegasus Turbo 2 could easily be utilised if needed for an easier day run. That aside, it is a fast shoe, it's a light shoe, it's intended for speed. The Zoomfly 3 has the carbon plate running throughout the midsole which gives it a very rigid feel. It gives that feeling of propulsion as you get towards the end of that gait cycle. Not really ideal for easy days by any means. When running at lower speeds, the Zoomfly 3 really doesn't work with you at all. In fact, kind of works against you and it can produce a very unnatural feeling. The Pegasus Turbo could really be utilized for those easy day runs. So in this category, the Peg Turbo 2 is the winner. So onto tempo or threshold runs. So very much here, the question is, what speed and pace will you be running at for those type of runs? Currently, the pace for my tempo runs is around about seven minutes, 30 seconds per mile. And threshold pace is about six minutes, 55 to about seven minutes per mile. So at paces approaching that, the Zoomfly 3 really will shine. The shoe really begins to open up a little bit after that kind of pace. It's designed for high speed work. It's a little bit like a really nice 60s Class A valve amplifier that you might use with an electric guitar, or perhaps a lovely hi-fi amplifier. The more you kind of turn those amplifiers up, the more you kind of open up the volume control, the better and better they sound. And I feel that's a little bit like the situation with the Zoomfly 3. The faster that you push this shoe, the better and better it performs. When you turn this thing up, it really starts cooking, it really starts feeling great. You can really push the pace up towards your kind of maximum capacity. That Pegasus Turbo 2 does still have the ability to be turned up. It's light, as I said before, it's designed as a fast shoe, but I feel that the Zoomfly 3 needs a little bit less effort and exertion to reach those high paces. Don't get me wrong, this is a great shoe. You can get some very fast paces and achieve some fast speeds with this, but it is a very, very cushioned shoe as well. Some people dislike that. I can get up to some good paces in this, but it does feel like I need to use more energy than I do with the Zoomfly 3. So for tempo work and for threshold runs, the Zoomfly 3 is the champion on this category. Interval work is another type of training activity that some runners will utilize to try and improve their top speed. Interval runs use short, faster paced segments followed by short recovery periods. One plus point, of the Pegasus Turbo 2 is that it can handle different paces. It's a little bit more versatile than the Zoomfly 3. Personally, I enjoy undertaking interval training using the Pegasus Turbo 2. It's a far more comfortable feeling than the Zoomfly 3. It just feels more natural, especially when you start to change pace. When you want to go to those recovery sections, it doesn't feel odd and unnatural. They're certainly cushioned enough when you are doing those warm-up sections or the recovery sections, but you can get right up onto the forefoot and really push the pace if needed. In short, it can handle the slower paced sections really well and also the fast paced sections just as well. The Zoomfly 3 could outpace easily the Pegasus Turbo 2. It's got that carbon fiber plate. You can really push it in this shoe, but I don't think it handles the recovery sections anywhere near as well. Quite often you do a mile warm up and a mile kind of warm down at the very end. The Zoomfly 3 just doesn't really handle going at a slower pace very well at all. Which one comes up trumps then for interval training? It's got to be the Pegasus Turbo 2. So the next category is that of long runs. Long runs are needed to help you 
get used to staying on your feet for long periods of time. Quite often they're undertaken at slightly slower speeds than you would be expected to run uh, at during a race, so a much uh, more leisurely pace. So within a long run shoe, I kind of look for cushioning, I look for support, and I also look for comfort as well. The Pegasus Turbo 2, it's got great cushioning, it really is very light, but it does lack a little bit of that stability and support over the shoe. It's very, very flexible. It's very flexible. Here we go, look. Look at it flex. There really isn't that much structure to the upper at all. And after around about 10 miles, in my personal experience, it does start to feel a little bit mushy. The Zoomfly 3 is much heavier. It's much more rigid. There's a little bit more support and stability here. Apart from in the heel area, there really is no heel counter whatsoever. The React foam is a little bit more dense. I kind of favour that a little bit more on longer runs. I don't want things to become mushy and kind of my foot just sort of sinking into the cushioning. It kind of feels a bit better if there's a little bit more response there. That aside, neither of these shoes really shine to me as long run shoes. I think you could certainly perhaps race uh, longer distances in these shoes, but for a training run, it doesn't really hit the spot for me. The Pegasus Turbo 2 is just too flexible and after around about 10 miles, the cushioning just doesn't really work that well for me. I think it's something to do with the combination of the React on the kind of outsole section of the midsole and the upper section of the midsole, Zoom X, is just too cushy for me. So I think the only way to score this one for this category is a draw, so maybe half a point each. So if you're shelling out your hard-earned readies, your moolah, your bread, coin, spondulix, or hard-earned cash on one of these shoes, then you'll probably want to race in it as well. So which of them is better for racing? If I had to race in either, then it would probably be the Zoom Fly 3. I feel that it's capable of a much faster race pace than the Pegasus Turbo 2. There's a few reasons why I choose this shoe over the Pegasus Turbo 2. I do like the fact that it's got a slightly lower drop. I like the fact it's got the carbon fiber plate. I don't like the weight. The weight is starting to get a little bit heavy for me. I mean, there's quite a significant difference between the weight of the Pegasus Turbo 2 and the Nike Zoom Fly 3. Some of you might find that the Pegasus Turbo 2 is much better for you for racing in terms of its cushioning, in terms of the mixture of the midsole materials and that fantastic lacing system that they've employed on this iteration. But for me, for racing purposes, I would go with the Zoom Fly 3. So if you're a runner looking for a new addition to your shoe rotation, one that perhaps you can utilize for a variety of different training activities, which one would I recommend? The more versatile of the two shoes for me is the Pegasus Turbo 2. It's about 20 pounds more expensive than the Zoom Fly 3, but I feel that it's capable of handling those easy runs and could be used for long runs at lower paces. It's much better suited to interval work where you may be including like a mile of warm up and warm down. The Zoom Fly 3 simply is far too rigid for those lower paces, so I would avoid it for that. The Zoom Fly 3 is a much better choice if you're undertaking tempo or threshold runs, mainly due to its ease in achieving those higher paces. But as an all round shoe, I think I've got to recommend the Nike Pegasus Turbo 2. That's all from me today. I hope this video has been useful to you and thanks for watching through right to the end. Please remember to hit that subscribe button and click the bell for notifications of when new videos are launched. Comment down below and hit that like button. My name's Ed Budd and I'll be seeing you.